Hey guys, it's Sarah from Northern Michigan Soap Company. You guys, here's a sneak peek of what I just got and I'm super excited to use today. This is the Royalty Soaps Piping Kit from Nurture Soap. So up first, as always, we are going to start with putting our lye water in with our oils. And as you see, the lye is brown. And that is because I chose, but since this is a mocha soap, that I wanted to put some coffee in with the lye water. So the coffee actually makes up half of my liquids for this batch. So we're going to go ahead and mix these together until we hit a light trace. And this is going to take a couple minutes, so we'll go ahead and skip forward. Alright guys, so now that our oils are completely emulsified, we're going to go ahead and start dividing with some colors. We're going to be adding in a swirl, and so I'm going to divide that off into the white mica um, that I have set aside. And the mica that I'm using today for the white is the snowflake mica from Nurture Soap. So I'm going to use my handy dandy little hand mixer that I absolutely love and we're going to mix that together. There is a lot of soap here though so maybe this isn't the best tool. Maybe I could use my immersion blender. There we go, that's much better. There is just enough soap in this little funnel pitcher that will cover the um, blade of the immersion blender so I don't have to worry too much about getting air in. So it's a little too much soap for my mini mixer and just barely enough for my immersion blender. So we'll go ahead and set that aside. In the brown that I want for the base, I'm going to be using some cocoa powder. And I'm going to be using the cocoa powder because the soap itself with the fragrance oil will turn more brown just because it has a vanilla um, in it. But I want to make sure that it's a nice, rich, chocolatey brown. So that's what we're going to use to color our base. So the inspiration behind this soap today is because as I showed you in my intro, it has been really cold the last few days. So why not make a mocha soap because it's a nice warm drink that is really enjoyable for these winter months. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my immersion blender to, just to make sure that all of this cocoa powder is well blended into my base. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our fragrance oil. And this is the Cafe Mocha fragrance oil from Nature's Garden. And as you probably notice, I'm adding it after I've already mixed everything else. And that is because I did not want my fragrance oil to be a part of the white because it has the vanilla and I didn't want the white to turn brown. So now that that is mixed in well, we're gonna go ahead and take our white and do an in the pot swirl. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour some white in each corner of the pot. And then I'm gonna put some right down the center. And the higher that you pour when you're doing in the, pearl, in the pot swirl, 
you want to make sure that you get some color down to the bottom of the pot. So as you raise the um, color up, the harder it falls, so the more likely it is to reach the bottom. Alright guys, so we are ready to go ahead and pour this in our mold. I'm just going to pour going back and forth so that way the white color can be dispersed evenly all across all the bars in the mold. And I'll scrape out my pot to get all the last little bit of goodness into the mold. Alright, so that's done. I'm just going to grab my stick and give it a little swirl. And then we can go ahead and push our soap to the side and let it set up so we can start working on the piping. Okay, so I got my piping setting up, but I realized that I have a problem. I have all these brand new molds that my father-in-law made for me, these boxes, and none of them are marked. So how am I supposed to do the piping when I don't have a marked box? So we're just gonna check on the piping. As it's setting up, you can see it's getting thick but it's not quite thick enough to go in the piping bag. It would still ooze all over the place if I put it in like this, but we do want it to be able to get stiff enough to mound and hold itself. We want it to peak like a meringue. Okay, so check this out. I found these on Amazon and they're piping bag clips. How cool is that? So I'm gonna try this out today and hopefully it'll work good. So the piping finally set up it's still kind of soft, but I kind of like it that way just because I have a little bit more control over where it goes. So on this first layer, I'm going to do three across. And then on the second layer, I'm going to do two across, which is going to be filling in all these holes that you're seeing between these three. And then on the top, I'm going to do one right down the center. So if you guys are just joining us, then you probably don't know too much about who we are and what we do here at Northern Michigan Soap Company. Our company is made up of three of us. There um, is myself, and then my friend Bethany, and then Bethany's sister-in-law, Larissa. We just recently have gotten to the point where we have to divide our workload up a little bit. So that's why we have Larissa on with us now. She's gonna be taking over some of our social media accounts and helping us with some behind the scenes things. And then also helping once in a while at a craft show here and there. And then Bethany is actually a graphic designer and she is doing all of our labeling. She's working on our website and keeping up with all of the techie stuff that I'm not very good at. And then there's me, which I'm the original one that started this company about 10 years ago. So I'm the one that is doing all of the making, which it's actually quite a change for this year because Bethany and I were making soap together for the last three years, but we got to the point where we just had to really focus on what we're good at. And then we realized that we needed an extra hand, which is why we brought on Larissa to help us. And two, we started a blog. So actually, if you go to our website, you'll see that Larissa um, is taking over our blog posts and she's gonna be blogging about things like essential oils and some basic things about our soap company. So this is the Snowflake Sparkle Mica from Nurture Soap. And I'm not using a glitter today because I don't really want the glitter to be on it, but I still want a little bit of a shimmer and that's why I'm using a mica instead.
Okay guys, that's it for today. So now I'm gonna pop it in my oven with the light turned on for about 24 hours and then I'll come back tomorrow and we'll cut it. Isn't this pretty guys? The color is actually gonna get a little bit darker as it sits, so it'll turn out to be a nice, rich, dark chocolate color. But I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. Thanks so much for watching guys, and be sure to give me a thumbs up if you liked this video, and feel free to subscribe. We'll see you next time.